right, today we're going to show you how to do a little bit of inflatable boat repair. I've had a leak in the rear cone on the right pontoon in my inflatable boat. Today we're going to remove the cone and show you how to repair a leak. Now the first step was to find the leak. Took some soapy water and a spray bottle, sprayed it on the back of the cone. You can see it's a pretty big leak right here. All right, next we're going to start removing the PVC fabric around the cone. I used a heat gun and an automotive trim removal tool. Uh, these are small plastic tools. They usually come in a set of three or four. You can pick them up at a home goods store or uh, online. Works very well. Be careful with the heat gun. If you get it too close, you'll burn a hole in the fabric. All right, now that the trim piece has been removed, you can see the hole is about three inches wide. Uh, and it goes all the way back around the cone. So it's time to remove the cone. Use the trim tool, scrape off the rest of the glue, use the heat gun if you need to to loosen it up. It'll come right out. So we have everything out. Now I just want to show you what my plan is for this repair. I've never done this before, and I really can't find any good videos online showing how it's done. So we're just going to uh, try out this process and see how it goes. Now we have to refit this end cone, which came out earlier. I have fitted it with some tape and a handle, so I can actually grip it and pull uh, so we can get this with the adhesive on it against this rim. The hard part here is getting it inside, covered in adhesive, and then pulling on it like this, so we can, and then push out the air bubbles around the edge. But I want to be real careful not to have it stick early and, uh, or go sideways on me. The other tricky part is we have this little flap right here. This goes on the inside of the cone, so that's going to be interesting too. Not quite sure how that's going to work out, but we're going to put a little bit of glue here, attach the cone to this on the inside, and that will that'll keep it from falling back into the into the tube. Then we'll apply the glue to both sides of the uh, PVC and the cone, and get ready to, for the final uh, adhesion to the tube itself. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. All right, now that all the parts have been removed, we need to clean them. So get out the MEK, some protective gloves and uh, respirator, and start cleaning the cone and also the PVC, where the glue is going to come in contact with the cone. It's very important. And then once it's been cleaned, take that 180 grit sandpaper, scuff it up so you take away the shine, and now you're ready to start mixing some glue. Okay, now we're ready to mix some glue. I use these dental syringes to mix the glue together. It's a 10 to 1 ratio. I used a separate syringe for the accelerant and one for the adhesive. Mix it together. I used uh, five milliliters and half a milliliter and this test batch worked out quite well. Follow the instructions, you can't go wrong and make sure you wear a respirator when you do this. Okay, our glue has been mixed. Now we're ready to apply it. I take a cheap paintbrush, cut the bristles short and then we're gonna use that to apply the glue. First, you wanna take the cone and apply the glue on the inside and then we're going to take some glue and apply it to the PVC flap on the inside of the tube. Okay, so the cone is glued in to the, that little uh, tab on the inside. So now I'm going to put glue around the edge of the cone. And then I'll put glue around the edge of the PVC here, all the way around the rim. And we'll pull it through and get it to uh, seal in its, in its place. I may have to inflate the tube just to make sure there's symmetry. We'll see. Uh, but that's the next step. Okay, this is going to be the moment of truth. We're going to uh, inflate it with a little bit of air to give it symmetry and, and pull it through and see if we can get it to stick. The glue's set. It's been about five minutes and it's slightly tacky. We're going to give it a try. I'll tell you when. All right. Go ahead, Nip. Now we're taking the roller, we're working out the air bubbles. All right, your final step is just reattaching this trim piece. Same steps as before. Put the adhesive on the trim piece and also put it around the attach point. 
let it dry for about five minutes, and then we'll push the two pieces together. Okay, I think I'm done. Let's give it about a day, and then we'll pressurize the tube, and we'll see uh, if it holds any pressure. It looks like it's correct. <laughs> All right, it's the next day and I pumped it up to full pressure and I got a couple of leaks, just two small ones right here in the front, one here on the back of the seam. So I'll take the tape off and we'll see if we can find out where those are. Okay, after all that work, um, I still had to go back and fill a couple voids. This right here was didn't seal properly, didn't get enough glue on the joint. So what I did is took some adhesive inside the syringe, stuck it deep in there and just filled the whole void with adhesive and then we'll stick it together. I'm hoping that will prevent me from having to take the whole thing apart and do the whole repair again. And I also had a hole down here. You can see it right there, there's another hole. And I also had a secondary hole down here at the bottom that I also did the same process with. So we'll let that dry for a minute and then press out all the air bubbles. All right, we reassembled the tube and uh, now we're gonna go try it out on the water.